Hi, thank you for taking the time to watch this information video on the middle school honors applications. My name is Tina Parra. And I'm Mrs. Miller. So what is honors and what is acceleration? Honors courses offered for the middle school English language arts course is designed to engage and challenge students in areas of their academic strengths and interests. And we are going to talk a little bit more about that here this today. And accelerated courses are offered for mathematics at the middle school level. They move students through the math content at a faster rate than the normal math classes. So who can apply? Any student that is academically ready and willing to apply to enroll in an honors English and or accelerated math course, teacher and parent guardian input is also important. So what does it mean to be academically ready? For the English language arts course, this is for someone that has an affinity for literature and literacy. That means that you love to read books and are constantly wanting to read and dive into different texts to explore and analyze them in greater depth, and someone who loves to engage in stimulating discourse, meaning that you want to have deep conversations about what you read. And a student who is academically ready in mathematics is a student that has data from different sources that shows they are ready to learn math at a faster pace. This could be your grade in your math class at school. It's also your iReady score, so make sure that you're doing your best on your iReady assessments. And also a student who shows interest in being challenged and wants to move at a faster pace through the accelerated instructional math program. So if you're really interested in mathematics, this would be a great class for you. So what will you learn in an honors English language arts class? You will explore print and digital texts that encourage you to be a critical thinker and enhance your communication skills. You'll engage in comprehensive research and investigate different topics and or ideas. And you will continue to enhance language skills through practicing the four modes of language, when it, which include reading, writing, listening, and speaking. This will prepare you for a global society. And in the accelerated math course in sixth grade, you will take uh, all of the sixth grade standards and about half of the seventh grade standards. And they're going to be interwoven. So you'll learn some sixth grade, then some seventh grade, back to sixth grade, and then seventh grade. And then in seventh grade, you will take the rest of the seventh grade standards plus all of the eighth grade math content so that when you are an eighth grader, you can take algebra one, which is a high school class. So as a middle school student, you will be earning high school credit. And then when you move on to high school, you'll take geometry, then algebra two. And then from there, you can choose a pathway that could lead you to taking college classes and earning college credit before you graduate high school. But accelerated classes will move at a faster pace than a regular math class in order for you to be able to take four years of math during your three years of middle school. How does this help you in your future? The ELA course, the honors course, does prepare you for honors courses that are accessible at the high school level and the advanced, advanced placement courses, which include advanced placement language and composition and advanced placement literature. These courses do prepare you to excel in those courses. And the accelerated math courses offered at the middle school prepare you to take algebra one in the eighth grade, which means then you can take college level math during high school. Now, what happens if you struggle or you change your mind? Now, we do want to encourage you to continue in the Honors English Language Arts course, but if you choose to, you do have two opportunities. The first time is within the first six weeks of the grading period or at the end of the semester. 
Keep in mind, students, that exiting the course will require you to, uh, to be involved in a conference. And this conference is going to involve you, your parent or guardian, a teacher, counselor, and then an administrator. We want to make sure that we put you in the best English language arts course for your specific learning needs. And the same goes for math. We want you to be successful in the accelerated math course. And if you are having difficulty keeping up with the pace of the course and decide that it's not for you at this time, then you can exit the class in the first four and a half weeks. And if your grade falls below a C within the first interim grading period, the first four and a half weeks, then we will uh, encourage a conference with yourself, the, your parent or guardian, a teacher, a counselor, and possibly an, an administrator so that we can figure out how best to support you in the accelerated math class. Now to apply, your teacher is going to hand you a print copy of the student application and you will fill out all the fields which include your last name, first name, student ID, you can also at this point decide, are you going to participate in Honors English Language Arts or Accelerated Math, or would you like to do both? And then you will write a brief statement showing us your interest for participating in either in Honors English Language Arts, Accelerated Math, or both. We also ask that you record your iReady MOI Math score, as well as your STAR MOI reading score. Now, your teacher may help you with that. If you don't have that information, no worries, we will get it on our end. The last step is to take your print application home and have the conversation with your parent or guardian talking about your goals and your reasons for being in the Honors ELA or Accelerated Math course. The last step is to fill out the online application to retrieve the online application. You may use the QR code or visit the URL and then fill out the application. It looks exactly like the print copy. And once you do, click submit and you are good to go. Keep in mind that applications are due on February 5th of 2024. Now, if you have any additional questions, you are welcome to reach out to me. My name is Mrs. Miller, and I can be reached at jomiller at lcps.net. And for math, you can reach out to Soledad Gonzalez at sgonzalez at lcps.net, or you can reach out to me, Tina Barra, at crenaga at lcps.net. Thank you, students. We look forward to seeing your applications, and we hope you have a wonderful day.